Hello, my name is Jingo Nelly, and today we are going to be continuing from where we left off. We had ended on uh, is the Ugandan economy growing, but before I begin off, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It will bring you some good luck in your forthcoming exams. So, to answer this question, yes, the official statistics from UBOS and uh, World Development Indicators show that the economy has expanded quite rapidly as the figure below shows so from uh, 1986 to 2016 you could see the rise meaning that the ugandan economy is growing then we are having the major sources of uh, <coughs> growth in uganda for the period 19, 1992 to date we are having the economic policies that led to microeconomic microeconomic stability then point two we are having increased private sector investment here uganda's uh, growth has uh, mainly be, uh, has mainly been driven by uh, increased investment particularly in uh, industry and services then we are having large donor large donor support from the world bank and then uh, we are looking at another point which is a favorable external environment here uganda borrowed at a low rate because uh, of or because of poverty uganda being considered as a highly indebted poor country then uh, we are having removal of economic distortion such as the price controls then looking at the growth of the total factor productivity as a result of growth of education, health, infrastructure, inputs, and other uh, institutional factors. Then uh, we are having the relatively stable political environment uh, since the 1990s, which reduced certain and risk for uh, investors. Then looking at why incomes are stagnant despite the rising GDP, uh, point number one, growth is not inclusive. There is rising inequality among Ugandans. This is because the growth is growing to the few who already have a lot. And then high population growth rate. Uh, there are so many dependents in the economy. And then we are having... We are having a large portion of Ugandans' uh, GDP is produced by foreigners who repatriate profits back to their home countries. Then we are having the low levels of uh, capital accumulation. Here, Uganda's marginal propensity to to consume is high, uh, is very high, which are uh, which deprives many Ugandans of the ability to save, invest, and create wealth that would uh, secure their income flows then having known that we go to why the jobless growth of ugandan's economy so we are having we are having a point which is a chaotic political economy uh, which caused jobless uh, jobless growth as it uh, crowded out private and public investment that would create jobs and uh, opportunities then we are having the low productivity the low productivity growth uganda's agriculture has had the lowest uh, labor productivity in uganda yet it is the sector that that hosts three quarters of uganda's labor force then we are having high Population growth rate between the 1990 and uh, 2014. Then uh, uh, the last point here is uh, the structure of Ghana's economy, which is 80% uh, of the population has remained stuck in agriculture because of the structure of Ghana's economy. So you, uh, uh, when you look at this last point, uh, more research is needed to explain why uh, this is the case. Uh, you can look at the population, uh, the political insecurity, uh, the high levels of production, then uh, uncompetitive, uh, uncompetitive business environment. So with with that, um, 
I'm to stop here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Next time we shall be looking at the performance of the economy.